Today I'm going to answer the question, what is a dirty pour? A dirty pour is multiple individual colors poured into a single cup and then you pour out that cup onto a canvas. So I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm going to put some Nova paint into my five ounce cup and I'm using, like I said, I'm using Nova paint today. These are all Nova colors. However, you can use craft paint, any type of craft paint. You can use house paint. You can mix different brands. You might try just whatever you have on hand. So this is turquoise. You can see I put a couple of blobs of Nova in there and I am using Nova Plex number 233 as my pouring medium. It's less expensive than Liquitex brand and other brands. You can see I used quite a bit compared to the paint because the paint is such good quality it doesn't take that much to color the whole thing. So now I'm mixing the pouring medium in with the paint and I'm getting a feel for how thick it is. What I usually do is I take some water to thin it just slightly and I'm using just a drinking straw. I'm just going to add a little bit of water. I like the way this feels. I usually go by feel as opposed to an exact measurement. So this is what we're going to use. Now I'm going to take my 10 ounce cup. In no particular order, I'm going to pour my colors in. There's some yellow. This is fluorescent magenta, one of my favorites. Now I'm going to put some blue in. I have some gold from a previous pour and I'm going to put a couple of drops of silicone into it. I'm using Treadmill Belt Lubricant 100% silicone. I get this on Amazon. It makes effects. It kind of helps the paint move around and you get these fun cells some of the time. So I'm just going to put in a couple of drops into the gold. I'm going to mix it. Again, the gold color is a little bit of a wild card. We'll just see what it does. And now I'm going to put in some white. White almost always sinks to the bottom, if not always. Now you can let these dirty pores sit for five minutes, a half an hour, even a couple of days, and they won't change much. I like to let my dirty pores sit, but I'm not sure it makes all that much difference. What I want you to know is don't feel like you have to immediately pour this because you don't. You can actually go away and come back and do it. But for the sake of this video, we're going to move right on, and I am going to pour this right in the middle of the canvas. This is a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas. I used about two thirds of what I had. You can kind of let it sit. Watch it and you can start tilting slightly. You will develop your own personal style of tilting the more you do this. Some people like to tilt and let it run off really fast. I like to kind of let it spread and see what it's going to do, see what kind of interesting things it will do. I'm just going for some coverage now and I'm watching it and see what happens here that I like. And so things don't look trapped in the middle, I like to let at least a couple of the edges run off.
I like what's happening right here, so I'm not going to let that run off. I'm going to backtrack a little bit, bring it back to the center. get some of these colors to mix a little bit and so it's less there's a lot of solid blue here that's not all that interesting so I'm going to stop it there's a little chunk of paint here I'm going to flick out now I have some paint left so rather than stretch it out and make it go everywhere I'm going to use some of my leftover paint Now I'm going to tilt it back and forth so this new pour kind of incorporates. Try and get some coverage down here. So it's pretty much covered now. Now over the next few minutes, I'm going to watch this and I'm going to decide if I want to do any more tilting. Most of the tilting is done, but I'm going to watch it just in case it starts to do something and I can, I can tilt it a different way. But that in essence is the simple dirty pour using three colors plus white, four colors plus white. So if you like this video, follow me on Instagram. I ha also have paintings on Etsy. My name is Karen Goodrich, and it's Karen with a C. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.